Edge computing will be crucial for the delivery of high-speed, high-value services to CSP's consumer and enterprise customers. As a key component of 5G, telcos need to reach the edge quickly. What can Intel and the vendor ecosystem do to help accelerate CSPs on their journey to the edge? No one company can do this by themselves. Um, I think the entire ecosystem, um, you know, contributing different elements of the, you know, 5G and Edge um, is extremely important. And we need to, the more we can collaborate, the more we can um, reach out to address some of the pain points um, for mass scale um, uh, deployments of 5G, uh, the sooner, um, you know, that we all can look at um, uh, 5G deployments and also the true economic promise uh, of a 5G future. We have a lot of different definitions of what the edge is. Um, sometimes the edge is at the customer site, sometimes the edge is where the mobile edge computing platforms will be deployed to support mostly 5G. And you know, so I think what happens at the edge is what's changing. Do you have to have the cloud in the mech part of the edge or do you have to have the cloud, which is really part of NFVI as well, at the customer edge? So, you know, these edges and where the computing happens versus the processing, you know, it, it will continue to evolve, I think, as we figure these solutions out, particularly as we move much more quickly into IoT applications. I, I think that the uh, network edge is uh, right now is one of the main assets that uh, operators in general have. We have a highly pervasive, almost covering the, the, the whole territory of the, the, of the countries in which we are present. And this is one of the main assets because it's a, it's a, and it's a way in which we can deploy services in a much more uh, elastic way. And uh, well, because of the nature of the infrastructure and because of the, um, of the, of the uh, foreseen requirements, so this is something that we are still shaping. Uh, again, cooperation is essential because at the end there are many, uh, already there are many agreements among telcos that are competing but at the same time they are cooperating in, in facilitating the deployments and facilitating the, uh, the, uh, the service provisioning. Uh, so it's, it's continuing with this, uh, with these, uh, 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 with these, uh, with these uh, arrangements that were natural in that moment uh, for, for uh, simplifying and, um, and reducing costs. Uh, well, it's simply that we're trying to change or extend the kind of services, so it's a, it's a continuing this, the, the, same, uh, the same process and, and, and essentially, I, I, I'd say. You know, a lot of this is in, uh, kind of inevitable with networks that they become um, more um, uh, utility-based, more usable, quicker, automated. It's the natural evolution, really, of any technology that's very useful that, you know, you, you then have to, you want to scale it because you want to use more of it. You then need to automate it um, and you want a model like any commodity, I suppose, like electricity or anything you know, you pay for what you use and, and get to that level where people feel the trust that they can just plug in and use it. Maybe a couple, a couple of ideas here. One is uh, to uh, participate in the whole industry, in the whole uh, uh, open source development and the standardization that is going on. I mean, trying to harmonize, trying to, to really um, define a kind of a de facto standard that the industry can, can follow. <coughs> so this, this is one. Uh, uh, I mean, going now, down to the uh, actually support to service providers. Uh, what we are uh, observing is that initially I mean, we really need support from our vendors uh, initially in order to build this type of platform. So really getting the right uh, professional service support, service integration support is really critical. So I I even though our plan is, is really to, to manage this, this type of platforms in the future initially, you really need the support from your vendors. So, so in order to have acceleration, really we need vendors to be involved and to be supportive in the initial phases. It's all about CSPs, they, they are great customers and partners to work with. Why? Because they're very rational. They are rational in terms of how can I optimize investment in the dimension of TCO. Maybe they overemphasize the TCO part sometimes. But the second part is truly about now going for opportunity for growth. And so how can we at Nokia support operators, CSPs on their transition to DSP, of course there's cutting edge end-to-end -end 5G portfolio to help them do that. But more importantly, I think it's about helping them build ecosystem propositions, especially for the enterprise space and leveraging performance attributes such as low latency and ultra reliability. And again, leveraging performance attributes, but building a base for 
new business model opportunity and business growth opportunity for operators and going hand in hand with the exciting transformation from communication service provider CSP to digital service provider DSP.